What's up, YouTube? Alex the Painter here for another video, another review of the uh, Snap-on. Uh, again, like I guys have telling you now, uh, Snap-on is my favorite tools, my favorite brand. Uh, I know a lot of people uh, have different um, opinions on their tools, but this is my personally uh, uh, tool that I, that I like. All right, I uh, hope everybody's doing great. I hope everybody's doing awesome. Um, I've been home because uh, you guys who, my little little crowd subscribers, only got 103 subscribers, and only like 10 of them usually comment, or four or five of them. Um, my last video that I was sick, well, I tested myself, I felt bad on a Saturday, and then when I, yeah, I tested bad on a Friday, actually Friday, I came out of work, I had a little bit of a sore throat, a little bit of cough, I uh, not not I uh, thought nothing of it, nothing of it, and when I uh, came uh, set, uh, next Sunday, I mean I'm sorry, Saturday, I woke up with a little cough, a little bit of sore throat. I uh, went out to the groceries, just a little bit of groceries in the morning, and I felt the coughing in the car, and I said to myself, "Wow, I feel like I hope I'm not positive," and came home, and then went to the home uh, to my wife that I uh, I don't feel well. I feel like a little sore throat and a little cough. So she said, get a home test, uh, COVID-19 um, test. And it came off negative. I said, oh, good, okay. Uh, on Sunday, uh, it happened again. I uh, had a cough and a little sore throat. And I said, okay, test myself again on Sunday. It came out negative. Um, went to work. <clears throat> and I went up and, and I started walking and I felt like I felt a little fatigue. I had to catch, a, catch my breath. Plus, you, know, you have to wear your mask up in Boston and all that stuff. So I, I usually do anyways. Um, so I uh, had a roll call and uh, we had to put an alternator. I went to uh, install an alternator. When I was on an alternator, I felt it like exhausted. I said, oh my God, well, you know, and then I uh, cough. And it was coughing and coughing and uh, got home. Not then I'll wait again uh, to my wife. She said, ah, let, me, let, me, let me test myself again. So I tested myself. Well, my wife tested me and we test. And sure enough, I tested positive for uh, COVID. So I have, I've been quarantined now since Tuesday. Uh, today is Friday. Happy Friday to all. And I uh, tested, uh, have been quarantined. I can't go back to work until Monday. So, sure enough, I've been home doing nothing, being quarantined. Um, shut him, got closed uh, in my room, and my wife is sleeping at the uh, living room. <laughs> and then my little boy uh, tested positive uh, yesterday, so he's in quarantine too. I don't know what's going on, but it's getting worse and worse. I thought all this stuff was going to be in. It's going to be uh, get st staying uh I really thought this uh, COVID was gonna go away, but uh, I guess not. Yeah, so I didn't have no you know, big major symptoms. Uh, I, I I got vaccinated, so I didn't feel anything. Just a minor cold and, uh, and, and, and a little sore throat. And I feel great now. And uh, this is the fourth day. So I don't know if I I felt it Saturday. Uh, Saturday, uh, Saturday to, and today is Friday, it's almost seven days. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to work back on Monday and uh, go back to the field. So anyway, enough of that. And anyways, so now I got a good video for you guys. I got an awesome video. This video um, is a snap-on scanner. Love this scanner. I use a scanner all the time and make good money with this scanner. Uh, it is, for my opinion, it's pricey. Uh, scanner came out to five grand. Um, do I recommend it for uh DUI guy that doesn't own his cars? No, but if you're out there working in the field and you are you know making us a living, then yes. Uh, here we go. It's a snap on, it comes with a case, like it comes with a case. Uh, snap on 100 year anniversary. Congratulations to that. Um, let's open it up, and this is how, this 
is how it is. It's all set up and stuff like that. Um, actually, this scanner is a Triton DA. Um, it's a hundred years anniversary uh, uh, scanner. Hundred snap on. Um, so Triton model number. E E M S three four three E N E E M S three four three. So it comes with your wiring cable. The only one with this one is it's not wireless. You gotta plug it in. I don't mind that to be honest with you. Uh, it works. And it has two channel. It has uh, one channel. It has it for your scope and a multimeter. You can use it too. Uh, it comes with a charger. I'm sorry, um, it comes with a charger. And, uh, yeah, man, this is an awesome scanner. It comes with all the accessories. Um, let's open this up. Have like a little, little pouch. Gosh. Comes with all this stuff. You could use that as a multimeter. There we go. Oh, I haven't used this for... It's just a multimeter built in. It's an awesome scanner. Um, it has all this for your scope. So use it for your scope. It has all the, all the leads, uh, all different colors, the charger. Uh, it has all everything that you need uh, to, um, to diagnose an electrical problem. And uh, it comes with the uh, with the charger. You can charge it up. Also, when you plug it in to your charger, to you plug it into the to the computer, to the uh, to your vehicle to get a code, it's charged by itself. Uh, I love it. I use it a lot. I make great money with it. Um, it I don't know where your guys are from, uh, state, whatever. It's different prices, but over here in Massachusetts, Massachusetts, uh, it came out to uh, five five grand. And um, I, I, you know, one of the best purchases I got. It, uh, let's see if we can turn it on. Let's see if you guys can look. We'll turn it on. And it gives you the scanner. Uh, let's just see um, OBD2 guide component test. It gives the scanner, give you the OBD2, it gives you the guide component test and the scope meter. So if you go here, and let's say the lab scope. And uh, let's just let's go. It's uh, for voltage. So what I do is when you put it in there, and you you're gonna you're gonna test a sensor or oxygen sensor or any sensors. So what it does is it gives you a graph. So it tells you uh, channel one. This is a two channel. This is a two channel uh, scope. So channel one and channel two. So the, the channel one will be the yellow and the channel two will be the uh, green one. And it tells you everything. But if you want to go, uh, let's go back home. Um, let's see, scope multimeter. There we did that. Guide component test. And let's say that you are a uh, Chevrolet 2016 Caprice uh, 3.6, uh, so okay. Uh, body electrical charging system, uh, driver's uh, A's, ADS engine. So let's go with the uh, charging system. Uh, Bird company's battery sensor. Let's see with the uh, DC voltage. If you hear that noise, clicking noise, it's just adjusting to the uh, multimeter. So So this is how it tells the charge system battery, uh, the battery uh, current DC cells, it check the waves. So basically when you, uh, um, how do you call it? Um, when you, you see this uh, uh, gra uh, graph here, then when you're testing it, the battery, the sh it sh gives you an example, that's how it's supposed to look like. Um, battery current sensor, DC voltage check, wave signature while cranking. Now, I think I could see if I could, uh, oh, so, um, hold on, okay, so now, 
It's, it's charging system battery, current DC connect, test lead, yellow current sex, uh, sensor signal, and black known ground. Okay, A, uh, the volt, uh, current sensor supply voltage. So this is the uh, blue, uh, A, it's a current sensor, and it's a violet, blue and violet uh, the wiring. Uh, two low reference, blah, 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 blah. So connect the test leads. It, it, it tells you step by step. It tells you uh, step by step how to um, connect so you can uh, di uh, diagnose the issue. Uh, you know, I honestly, um, it got the tools data, it has a quick lookups. Um, this, 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 this is awesome. I like it. Uh, I have this now for about six months now, and I work about five cars already with it. And so far, so good. I don't have no bad reviews. Um, the only thing is with this one, it's a little bit, it doesn't slow. Um, uh, so they have another one. Um, what's the name of the other one? That one cost like $10,000 or so 12. I couldn't afford that. I mean, this is plenty for me. Um, like I said, I, I do a lot of theater cars. But the, uh, if you guys were following me for a while, you guys would know uh, what type of uh, cars that I do. I do different, uh, I do body work and uh, repairs. So now it came to winter, so I can't do no body work. It's too cold out there and I don't want to deal with that. So I'm just doing repairs right now. So this channel, it is growing slowly. Not like I want it to, but you know, It'll, it'll, it'll get this soon, soon enough. So anyways, this is gonna be a short video. It's already 11 minutes long, and uh, it's not gonna be too boring for you guys. Oh, it also comes with a charger, so you can charge it to charge it. So uh, this is it for this video, and to the next video. My next video is gonna be my setup of the uh, toolbox tour. It's a 46 Harbor Freight toolbox. I have a 54 uh, Snap-on uh, toolbox. Uh, that I have at work. I'm gonna get a review on that one. I'm gonna show you that guys that one, but I couldn't fit that one in my van And I wasn't gonna put that expensive toolbox in the van because first of all, it didn't fit I didn't want to take out the wheels and all this shaking is gonna mess up my toolbox It's a very expensive toolbox. I'm gonna put that in the storage for now Maybe in the future I'll open a shop and uh, we'll take it from there But most likely I'm not gonna use that toolbox for now. All right guys. Have a good weekend I'll uh, see you to the next video and uh, please share my video. Let's go up the channel together and hopefully you guys could help me out uh, grow this channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, please subscribe, share my videos, put the notification. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Talk to you guys later. Bye.